Hi Curie Create, this is Zima Selinda. I'm in grade 9 at Grant Lee College and I will be performing a monologue that I wrote myself. South Africa, you are under arrest for fraud, burglary, the enslavement, torture, sexual assault, rape and eventually murder of your people. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say may and will be held against you in a court of law. Do you understand? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Calling the case of the people of South Africa versus South Africa. South Africa being represented by hypocrisy, no longer democracy, and the people of South Africa being represented by pure innocence. Zime Selinda. And each of you do solemnly swear that you will well and truly try this case before you. A true verdict render, according to the evidence and the law. So help you God, and each of you do solemnly swear that you will well and truly try this case before you. I solemnly swear. Thank you, your honors. Calling my first witness to the stand, the real innocence of South Africa, a child, Pili Jangase from Lubasi. I like to sing this song my mama used to sing to me before they put her in a box in the ground. Papa was always angry. He said to me, it's good that she went down under. Now she can stop disturbing us in the bedroom. Papa hurt me, but it's okay because he said it was to make him happy. I don't like Papa to be angry. No. Papa said that if I were to make him angry, he'd have to wash my red water off of his hands instead of Mama's. Red water comes out when you have a boo-boo. It's very sore. Mama says it's better her red water than mine. She was crying. Then she put a rope around her neck and went to sleep. Can I tell you a secret? My Mama has superpowers. She sleeps. Fly. I miss Mama. I sing this song for Mama. To la to to la pili to la sana to the ma uzo buya ego singi to la to to la pili to la sana to the ma uzo buya ego singi. Thank you, Pili. That was beautiful. Um, calling my second witness to the stand, the first lady herself, mother of our nation, the wife of South Africa. There have been allegations, ma'am, reports concerning your well-being. Your neighbors are worried for your life. Your husband, he can be violent, can't he? Brutal at times. What are you staying with the defendant for, ma'am? I mean, your files say you're still married. Do I have reason to believe that they are forged? Forged? What idiocy? All that you've said is complete bull. My husband. My husband is a good man. He's lost himself within the madness of the job once or twice, but you need to understand that this is a big job. The biggest job there could ever possibly be. We've had children, Miss Selinda. I mean, he's had some children of his own. There have been some foreign women throughout the years, but no marriage is perfect. A man gets tired of his wife time and time again. It's a perfectly normal thing. Sometimes I get too involved in his affairs. Forget my place in cabinets, speak when I shouldn't. And when this happens, I need to be punished. Not that he has ever laid a hand on me. No, never. Besides, my husband's marital affairs have nothing to do with how well he can keep his children. 
See, the relationship between a husband and a wife is very different to that of a father and his child. 30 years ago, my husband saved us. And this is how you choose to repay him. Do you want us to go back to war, Mr. Lin? A time when races couldn't stand each other. My husband, he did the impossible. He brought us equality, harmony, justice. I have nothing but pride for the man. Nothing but pride. Yes. You really don't see what's going on with you, do you? You sit here as if oblivious to the state of your own home, but you know. You're covering for a man who would have killed you if he had the chance. Why does your marriage mean so much to you? I need to know, but no further questions. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, South Africa's personality grows tiresome. Haven't you grown bored of the stabs from his sword for your wounds have been basted too many times with lemon and vinegar? After they were torn apart once more. After he swore he wouldn't beat you once more. After it was his children you bore not once but more. Once more he breaks apart your core. Revenge wouldn't even level the score because vengeance is for those who have been happy before. So once more he pours fuel into the fire coal into the furnace because we're fueled by his felonies and sadly there is no cure to this disease there's no sweet home remedies till now from long before the 70s his children have lived a life far from heavenly the taste of his iniquities grows tasteless on our palates because we've sucked on his injustices for so long that the bitter taste is just no longer there or we might just be so used to it that we don't even care anymore once more, we don't need to hear their names. We don't even need to watch the news. We don't need to when these streets are already painted red. When we're already afraid to go to bed. See, South Africa. I address him as this piece of land found at the bottom of Africa because I fear to call him his people. To call him his president. To call him he's racist and he's rapists and he's drunken mothers, more he's absent fathers and those these in parliament. What is the relevance of such an outburst, Miss Elena? Do I have reason to question your ability to be professional? Is this case too personal? No, of course not, Your Honor. I apologize. You may proceed. South Africa, I fear to call you your failing government who allow these police stations to be flooded with the tears of your own children. The same tears it took to birth you. The same ones you thought were forced. Those same tears you thought were crocodile sourced. Those same ones you allowed to be dried out by the drought of your own soul. South Africa is the epitome of the greatest disappointment. And what potential he had, he could have been great. But I won't lie and say he once was. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, hypocrisy could not lead us anywhere but to more masked liars. I urge you, no, I plea for you to listen to me now. South Africa is not fit to exist in this world. This is why I propose the death sentence. Death by the electric chair, a thousand volts to the head. Your Honor, hear me out, please. And if you want to be lenient, I think exile will do him some good. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, do you see what the defendant has done to his victims? A total of more or less 55 million people attacked. Will you let him walk free? Will you let him do it again? Is the greed worth it? Are you ready to follow hypocrisy again?
The jury has reached a verdict in the case of the people of South Africa versus South Africa. The defendant is found not guilty.